Bunge Hoy. Bunge TV. You are not the first and the last president of the Republic of Kenya. Usipojichunga bwana president. Tunataka uombe huyo mama eh msamaha. Akawa ndakuna kitu na una travel kila siku na pesa wa Kenya. Mr. President, me as your colleague who is the president bunge la mwananchi na akuru. Kwa ambao unaweza sikia kwa hii Kenya nimesikia ni maandamano tu. Na hiyo tutakufanyia. Wakiwaambia alikuwa amepanga mapema for the tax Kenyans. Amuko amunasikia. Sasa kimewaramba. Bunge hoi. Inua mkono kila mtu bwana. Kila mtu ainue tu mkono tumalize hii bunge. And we are not going to stand the pressure. We are going to make sure that we also give you hard time to operate because Bunge hoi. Hoi. Bunge TV. Eh leo sina mengi. Nataka ku comment kwa kitu ambacho imeandikwa kwa gazeti ya Usa, uh, usafiri kwa bwana president president uko na miezi sita umesafiri kwa inchi eh, 29 na hiyo kila 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 siku kila saa ukienda huko unatumia pesa ya wakenya mamilioni ya pesa ya wakenya na hapa ukirudi unasema ulipata kama kama account hakuna kitu account hakuna kitu na una travel kila siku na pesa ya wakenya hiyo mr president tumekataa na tumekataa kabisa Unataka kukupea honyo kutoka na kuru leo. Wewe shughulika na mambo ya Kenya inaumiza wa Kenya. Na ulipewa ulipewa only only two, two days na azimio. Usipojichunga bwana president. We don't we don't think kama utapenda hii. Watu wanaumia zaidi na watu wamezidi kuumia. Na wewe chenye unasikia lugha ambayo unaweza sikia kwa hii Kenya nimesikia ni maandamano tu. Na hiyo tutakufanyia si 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 cha kukubembeleza ke bunge hoye bunge ria bunge tibim bas kwa majina wanyawanijui ni mr president robert makoha wangoho this morning i may have not much to say i have two points only the first one is for the president the second one is for the president the third one which is the last is for the voter wewe na mimi hapa ya kwanza mr president me as your colleague who is the president bunge la mwananchi na akuru i demand that you issue an apology to not only kenyans but also that woman mwenye tuliona wakati wa campaign amebebwa kwa wili baro karibu aangushwe chini Tunataka uombe huyo mama e, msamaha kwa sababu huyo mama ana represent wa mama wengi sana sasa hizi ambao wako wanateseka na the very high cost of living watu walikuwa wanaweka kila stage wili baro na walikuwa wana risk maisha yao hao watu sasa hizi wakituona wanahepa hao watu wakituona sasa hizi wako na aibu wanajificha kwa sababu sio kupenda kwao wao wali exercise their responsibility ya kupiga kura lakini umewaibisha na kuwapea aibu ambayo ni kubwa sana kwa kufanya wateseke boda boda walikuwa msari wa mbele saa hizi hawana mafuta ya kuweka kwa pikipiki zao mama mboga walikuwa msari wa mbele ulikuwa unawami tunawapea mia mia right now hiyo mia moja imeisha lakini umenyamaza lakini unaendelea kuongeza tax. What is that Mr President? Finally, there is also another issue uh, of content creators in our country Kenya. Umewekea 15% content creators size. Mtoto mwenye anamaliza form 4, ajui mambo ya uchumi Kenya. Anachukua simu anachirecord kwa TikTok. Wewe unataka u tax wewe kingangana afikisha 1000 followers kwa TikTok wewe atumengoja akianza eh ukata 15% kwa hiyo mtoto mdogo amemaliza form 4 shida ni nini rais tafadhali tax is too much for our country Kenya and we are not going to stand the pressure we are going to make sure that we also give you hard time to operate because these taxes you are taxing Kenyans are as a result of corruption in your country which is merely five months 
uh, these exorbitant bills that people are paying are as a result of mismanagement in your government and the poor hiring of the civil servants. Yes, I am qualified, but you should not give me that job because you want me to influence the people of my area to vote for you in 2027. Wacha kujipendekeza. Kama economy ya Kenya haiko stable, wacha kutaka kufraisha kila pande ya inji. Wacha kama mtu wako qualified, peana na fasi zenye ziko. You have created more jobs zenye haziko kwa katiba yetu. Mpenye tunaona kazi moja inafanywa na watu watatu na wanalipwa mshahara. Futa hao masiyesi wenye umeandika. We normally have 24 like the previous regime and the economy was stable by that time. Right now wewe unakuja unaandika CAS 50. Sasa hizi unalazimisha mwananchi aongezewe tax ndio uweze kuwalipa mshahara. Waja kujifanya mzuri. You are not the first and the last president of the Republic of Kenya. Finally, nyinyi wapiga kura you have to be blamed na siogopi kuambia hivyo watu wa UDA watu wazimio wa la umoja nyinyi wakati tulikuwa tunawaambia mambo mabaya mabaya mlikuwa mnaona sisi hatutumia akili right now hamkuli right now hamfanyi usafiri hamubebi na boda boda mama zenu wanaenda sokoni wanauza shilingi moja kanjo imesimama hapo huyu mtu tulisema ni mbaya na nyinyi mkalazimisha mumweke nyinyi mnadhani Raila Odinga na Uhuru Kinyata ni wajinga sana wamekuwa na William Ruto kutoka zamani lakini wakiwaambia jamaa alikuwa corrupt nyinyi hamko mnasikia wakiwaambia alikuwa amepanga mapema for the tax Kenyans hamko mnasikia sasa kimewaramba nani mtalaumu sasa bebeni msalaba wenu next time pateni akili mkiambiwa mtu mbaya mtu fulani ni mbaya wacha kungangana mnapigia uniform kura li kinyanjui alifanya kazi mingi sana hapa na akuru penye umesimama au hujasimama kwa matope saa hizi courtesy of former governor na akuru li kinyanjui teremuka hapa kingdom seekers amejenga soko kubwa enda kwa street zetu na akuru enda mitaani mabarabara lakini nyinyi mliona mpe mama kura mnyime liki nyanjui ati mnampanish mlipigia kura uniform ya yelo. saa hizi mnajificha mkituona next time patena akili kabisa kwa hizo vichwa zenu piga kura not because mtu anatoka kwenu piga kura not because mtu amevaa uniform ya chama fulani pigia mtu kura kwa sababu huyo mtu anaangalia maisha ya binadamu wa kawaida sasa ona sasa vile mambo iko. Suza nikeika amefanya nini na nini saa hizi? Just because alirudisha matatu town. Hiyo ndio achievement Suza nikeika amefanyia watu wa Nakuru. Liki nyanyua alifanya kazi sana. Mungekuwa na akili mngempigia kura. Lakini mlipigia uniform ya yellow. Sasa mambo iko wapi? Mbona sioni watu wazimio wamekufa na wa UDA wako hapa? Lakini kosa si kosa kurudia kosa ndio kosa sisi wote tuwe tulipigia hiyo serikali kura ama hatukuipigia kuanzia saa hizi tumepata akili wewe mwenye unajificha na ulipigia yelo. tafadhali next time pata akili pigia mtu mwenye hata sio ndugu yako usipigie mtu kwa sababu king pin fulani amekuambia leo sina mengi nashukuru wanachama wa bunge la mwananchi vile wamekuja na wameamua kutusikiza vile jina bunge linamaanisha ni sauti ya mwananchi na sisi tuko hapa kuweka serikali into check sababu hatuombi sababu hatubembelezi kwa sababu sisi ni taxpayers so when you come here feel free if you are on the side of jubilee uda odm kenya kwanza name them umekaribishwa sana na karibu sana mimi ni president Mr. Robert Makoha wa Ngoho. Asante sana. Bunge hoi. Inua mkono kila mtu bwana. Kila mtu ainue tu mkono tumalize hivi.
sema hai mwananchi wa kawaida ambaye alipigia ruto kura sasa hii ametusahau anatunyanyasa na uchumi na tunaomba raila tafadhali baba wa wanyonge ukiniita baba Niko tayari tutaandamana kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni polisi walete tear gas lakini yaki yangu itasimama imara e Mungu pamoja na Raila Odinga ni we nisaidie kufika hiyo siku yenye utaita asanteni baba asanteni baba haya